do you see yourself doing in the next five years? A question that echoes through the minds of my peers, the youth that dream impatiently, because when do we want it? We want it now! And how will we get it? Through time. Time that somehow bowed out when we grew out of the age of must be this tall to ride, and somewhere as I went along, as I graduated from swirly teacups to Gravitron, I grew out of wishful forward thinking. Because wishful forward thinking leaves you with a sinking feeling, pushes you to the brink into disappointment. That you didn't get that A, that raise, that waste of space coupe, so let's rephrase for the mentality of my age. What will I do in the next five years? I'll make grand gestures and grander mistakes because my perspective is a shallow, shallow lake. When hell's frozen over me, that lake will reflect the universe in its whole and endless glory. But until that day, I'll be party rocking with 33 degrees Celsius and sunny skies. So sorry if I dismiss correctness for the ice cream man's bankroll. Because he and we will topple your bitter embassy for a republic built on frozen sweets. See, your foreign influence poisons me. Your grown-up pills don't help little league. And just like how a poor Prince Harry will never be king, teens are a strange thing. It's like somebody took your children and stretched them into changelings and filled gaps where ligaments should be with what ifs and pipe dreams and feelings that clutter up your windshield. So what if you've got new high beams? But what would I know? I don't even have my learners. Real responsibilities are left simmering on the back burners while I flambe my ambitions with a dash of table turners. And when the feast is set with the nice china, I'll become the table flipper. If I don't up in this hierarchy of hypocrisy soon, I'll pull a jack or ripper and leave a trail of dead behind me. A trail of wasted potential stymied by my apathetic state of mind being a fault of my own societies. And yes, I may be biased and hostile, and I beg of thee, please don't take my word as gospel, but it seems to me that the stability and sensibility of adulthood comes with this heavy fee, the price tag of our invincibility. Adolescence is a melting pot of emotions and contradictory thoughts, but that pot is cast out of solid, pure arrogance, which, true, is not a selling point for most panting after a picket fence, but when the only thing you're sure of is nothing at all, wrapping that dreary outlook in an inadvisable level of gall, pulling on your neon truck tailors to stand proud and tall, well, that's really something. What do I want to be doing in the next five years? I want to pull out my old laptop. I want to gaze upon my poorly dressed adolescent self who wanted to be phased by no one, leave no indulgence unfelt. And I want to remember vividly the foolishness of my history and face down naysayers shouting, come at me, bro. No need for grave sayings among peeps, yo. And in the stuffy grown-up mind see, they'll scoff and toss you to the curb, beep at you from their respectable cars on their way home. And I'll, I hope I'll brush myself off, because who needs cars when you know the nearest bus stop is an ongoing and hilarious tiger battlefield. May youthful nonchalance forever be my shield. And in five years, I want to love my discrepancies, my shallow nooks and deepest crannies. I want my melting pot to have held up strong in the face of fire, because after all, what melts eventually evaporates, leaving a crusty layer of old self-hates that have hardened into new self-loves, and a thousand little would-ofs and could-ofs are now floating in the air to be inhaled by the next teen in despair, and I wish them the best of luck on the next five years.